Hello, my name is Susan Miranda, and I own the Chromatic Fusion Oboe Studio, and I am the oboist with Keon Quintet and Mother Move, and I wanted to share the MBDA Honor Band excerpts with you and play them and give some information and hopefully some helpful hints for some of you who are auditioning and maybe your band directors that might want some guidance as well. So the very first excerpt is in the Rubank book. It's page 49, number 16. And MBDA has made a suggestion of eighth note equals 152. So there would be one eighth note per every two sixteenth notes. So make sure that you take a look at the time signature. It's it's three eight, which you can really play it like it's three four if you're thinking as the, of the eighth note as the constant beat. One of the tricky parts that I noticed was the grace notes. Um, there are three measures that has a grace note before the sixteenth notes, and just make sure that you play the piece through without the grace note, and then go ahead and add it back in. Before you go ahead and add the grace note in, just play it without the grace note. And then when you add it in, uh, you still need to play the 16th notes in uh, the correct tempo, and you're just adding the grace note before the 16th. On this, I would actually use the full half hold D fingering because the trill fingering is just not very pretty. Here's with the half hold D. And I would do it that way for all three of those measures. Play it without and then add in the grace note. And then when you add in the grace note, The additional section that I want to take a look at, and this is more um, kind of a musical thing, is the last, let's see, one, two, three, four from the end. It's interesting because you have these A's um, on the top that you have to get to and then continue the chromatic uh, moving down. And in, uh, in something like that, you actually want to kind of bring out the scale because the A's are less important. So let me just play that section for you. Now this is once you've prepared the piece and you're really starting to get into the nitty gritty and really um, making it much more musical. Go ahead and bring out that scale. So go ahead and rest on the A's in that fourth measure from the end. Um, just a 16th note rest. And then add back in the A. And hopefully that will make it a little bit easier um, to kind of hear where the line is going. Um, and the A's are just kind of uh, a pretty added piece on top. This is in the Rubank Advanced Method book, page 49, number 16. The next etude will be page 67 in the Rubank Advanced Method book, number three, and it's called Aria. This is the more melodic etude, and working with students, it seems like the dotted eighth note is the trickiest part. So you want to really think about that and break it into four sixteenth notes. So when you um, when you break it into four sixteenth notes, 
the dot gets three of those sixteenth notes, and then obviously the sixteenth gets the fourth. So I'll play that section. We're going to start in um, the fourth beat of the second full measure. So when I teach this to students, I like to suggest that you actually play um, the G, the E, the C, the A, and the other C um, like they are each 3 16 knots. So let me give you that example. And then when you kind of break it into that, it allows your ear to hear it better. Obviously, you can use a metronome to subdivide, but doing it this way almost helps make it more internal. So let me do that one more time. Now put it all together. This is in the Brubank Advanced Method book, page 67, number 3. I would like to thank Henry Sibley High School and ISD 197 for letting me use their auditorium. They are having one of their theater productions this evening, so it's all set up for the play tonight. So this artwork and all the fun props, it was really, it was really kind of neat to play here. I wanted to share that if you would like further information about anything oboe related, I have a website. It's www.chromaticfusion.com. If you would like to learn more about Keon Quintet, you can find information at www.keonquintet.com. And we actually have an awesome chamber music camp, and it is called Quintensive. This will be our third year. We take instruments that are in the quintet, which would be flute, oboe, clarinet, French horn and bassoon. So if you play one of those instruments or you know someone that does, we have this fantastic camp for 7th grade through 12th grade. And uh, we put you in all sorts of awesome chamber music ensembles. And information about that can be found at www.keonquintet.com slash quintensive. And that should bring you to our quintensive page. And there, uh, we're working on adding new information we will definitely have um, more information on that page after the first of the year. Thank you so much. Good luck on your MBDA auditions. And I'm sure you will do a fantastic job and get into that honor band. Thank you so much. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. If your band director has any questions, please uh, go ahead and send me an email at chromaticfusionobo at gmail.com and I am happy to give you some pointers but I hope this video helped out. Thank you.